What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. As some of you may know, my name is Connor Fairbrass, also known as That Guy at Ford. Today I've got another very, very exciting video. This is the 2021 F-150 Lariat Chrome Package truck. Just like the F-150 XLT, we're going to go through tip to tail and go through everything new about it. Let's get right into it. Of course, as you can see, this is the chrome appearance package. You're going to have your chrome grill, your chrome front bumpers, your chrome tow hooks. You're also going to have your chrome mirror caps, your chrome 20 inch wheels as well. But up at the front, of course, I do want to mention you do still maintain LED headlights. You're going to have your LED outline there, LED fog lights, LED low beam, and a high beam through projector style system. Now we'll work our way under the hood and we'll go through the five liter power plant in this F-150. One thing I didn't want to miss talking about in this video is the power plant of the new F-150. Of course, you can see you do have your Coyote 5 liter V8. Now, there are some updates to the 2021 V8 from the 2020 F-150 V8. Now, with this new Coyote engine, it does have a slight horsepower boost of 5 horsepower and a 10 pound-feet of torque boost as well. So it's now 400 horsepower, 410 pound-feet of torque. But a big new addition for 2021 is actually going to be cylinder deactivation. So under light load and highway speeds, the truck will actually shut down some of the cylinders to preserve fuel and hopefully get you further on your tank of gas. At the back of the layer, there's not that much different from the XLT. The main thing is, as you can see with the LED lights, you're gonna have more of your LED. I call it kind of like a lava style light because it's really beautiful LED just overall encompasses the tail light. You're still gonna have your blind spot, still gonna have your LED backup light. At the back, again, with the chrome package, you are gonna have your chrome back bumper and you do have your chrome exhaust tip there too. At the back, you're still gonna have your soft touch or your soft drop tailgate like the 2020. So that will come down and you're gonna have your C clamps here at the back here too where you're able to clamp them in. With the XLT, just like this in the layer, you're going to have your LED lights. You can just click your button on there. You're going to have your LED lights that turn on the corner of the bed, as well as your LED light up the top. Now, I want to get a little bit of a close-up view on this 400-watt plug in the back. Now, at this 400-watt, 120-volt plug in the back, as you can see, it is covered. Now, you do have a three-prong light there. You do have your weather-resistant uh, orange band around there that's going to cover that so you won't it won't uh, no water will leak into that now that's new for the 2021 that's going to bring power to the back of the truck so you are going to be able to use that for your power tools your charging all of that good stuff too there is a pro power onboard upgrade option you can do a 2.4 kilowatt 7.2 and i believe it's a 2 kilowatt option as well depending on the engine choice that you have because there is the new hybrid so you can go up to the uh, seven kilowatt as well. Now at the side of the 2021 Lariat, of course you can see you do have some more chrome accents. You are gonna have your chrome door handles, your chrome mirror caps and your 20 inch wheels all on four corners there as well too. On the chrome package, you do have your chrome fender garnish there as well too. That's a new design mentioned by one of my subscribers, Sean. Beautiful, beautiful design. I think it really encompasses the new harsher style um, or more aggressive, I should say, fender. Now, this specific truck does have your power running board options. So what that does is when you approach the vehicle, when you click unlock, it will drop them. Or when you open the door, it'll also drop the power board. Now, new for this year, the power running board has been extended to cover more to the bed. And you do also have a push button on the bottom there. You can kick with your foot or you can touch with your foot. I should say you don't kick it because you might break it, but you'll be able to click that and that's going to be able to drop it if you need to access something from the bed or you just want to open them up so you can access something on the top of the truck too. Now let's make our way to the inside because there is quite a bit new on the Lariat side, interior I should say. We'll jump right into that right now. Getting into the F-150 on the driver side, as you can see you're going to have a gray soft touch material up on the top here with some nice stitching in it. You're going to have your leather kind of armrest on the door there as well. Nice new door handle, as I said, in the XLT. It feels a little bit smaller, but I think it actually uh, kind of complements the interior a little bit better. It doesn't take up as much room. You're gonna have a little bit of a wood grain style material up on the top there. Your power mirrors, your power folding mirrors as well on the Lariat. Power up and power down are automatic, I should say, for the driver and passenger front windows. Now your power up and down for your back um, passengers as well. Now up at the front, you're gonna have your memory seat. So your one through three buttons there your power mirrors, 
your power seat, your power pedals, and your power steering wheel. Those are all gonna be saved into the memory seats. Now, you do have two keys that come with the F-150 when you get it. You can actually program those keys to save a memory seat. So when you get into the vehicle, it'll automatically put your seat forward and it'll put your steering wheel up, down, whichever way you want. Same with your mirrors and your pedals. Now there's quite a bit that has changed on the inside of the Lariat. As you can kind of see in this shot, you do have a digital display, but let's jump on the inside and we'll go through all that's new there. The Lariat introduces the full leather interior. I absolutely love it. It's a really, really nice upgrade from the 2020. I think it's a little bit softer and they've got a nice new design here. You are gonna have kind of a crimson red or almost of a brown style stitching there too, which on the sport package matches a little bit better on the inside if I'm being honest. Um, as the Lariat sport package, you're gonna have material up here it's going to be that same crimson red and kind of your same over here is going to be a beautiful crimson red in the layer you do still maintain your bno or your bang and olufsen sound system beautiful beautiful sound it sounds really really awesome now that comes standard with the lariats you can actually upgrade that to i believe it's more of an ultimate package it's going to have a little bit crisper speakers some more speakers and you're also going to have speakers in the headrest now, if I pan up to the top here, as you can see, just like the XLT, you're still gonna have your light switches, your power pedals, all that good stuff. And you're still gonna have the LED mirror lights, which you can use for your all zone lights. Just like the XLT, again, you're gonna have your power drop, but on the Lariat, it's gonna be a soft drop um, as well too. Now, what's really, really new for the Lariat is going to be your digital display here as well. Beautiful, beautiful display. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I think it's a beautiful upgrade and something that I wish we had earlier in the F-150, but I'm glad it made its way to the 2021 style. Now, as you can see, you're gonna have your controls on the right side of the steering wheel. So right here, really, really nice buttons on the steering wheel um, that's gonna control everything there, your cruise control, all that good stuff as well too. So, but if we zoom back into this, I really, really like this. I think this is a beautiful design. I think it's really smooth as you saw there. I just clicked the menu button and it's gonna change the design and it's just, it, it flows really, really well. You can click on things like your truck info, it's gonna tell you your seatbelt, your driver assistance and your driver assistance, uh, as in like, if you have your blind spot, your lane keep, all that stuff on. Now, a couple different screens here too. Of course, it's gonna flow through really, really well. I think it's beautiful. I think it's really, really smooth. Now, another cool thing is right down at the bottom here, you're gonna have your drive mode switch. So instead of, it, it used to be on the shifter, it's now down here. You're able to dial that whichever way, left or right, and that's gonna change the display. Now, when I change the display based off the drive mode, I think it's beautiful how it changes. Like, it's just so, so smooth going to all your different drive modes. I think it looks awesome. Like, even down to the eco mode, like, it turns the truck green. And the sport mode, like, it, it changes your four-wheel drive and just... It makes it a nice kind of slate gray, but see on your red line how it's more of like a, a checker. Like it's, it just, it looks awesome. It looks so, so good. I'm just, I, I gotta say, I'm, I'm in love with that new design. As you can see on the bottom there too, as I cycle my way through, you'll have your different drive modes so you know where you are. Now, even when you go into slippery, like look at that display when it just, that, that, how it changes based off of what drive mode you're in. It just, I got to say, it looks absolutely awesome. I'm loving it. Mud and Ruts changed it to be more of a brown style. It just, I'm going on, but I think it looks absolutely amazing. Just like the XLT, you are going to have your 12-inch display. That is standard from the 302A XLT, like my other video, um, all the way up to the limited trim. Now, not really much has changed on the inside there. You're still going to have your zone lightings and your LEDs. Um, LED controller I should say really what's added on this package truck is your power running board as you can see it's going to say you can activate your kick switch your approach detection so your LEDs are going to light up at the front when you approach it but also your uh, running boards will drop down there too I guess I, I love this new design I think it looks awesome especially with your navigation like you can uh, cycle that away and you'll have your full display there too now one thing I didn't notice I didn't mention, I should say, in my XLT video was this little tab here. I saw some 
messages about that. I see this more as kind of like a Coles notes of what's going on or different kind of views. Like you can click on that guy there and you can cycle through what you want. Like you can have your audio, your fuel economy, your eco behavior, your uh, phone, all that good stuff. You can cycle through and tap into it. Just a nice little kind of Coles notes of what's going on with the truck. Just like the XLT, you're gonna have your power shifter, remote start on the key fob, as well as some nice interior buttons and dials. Now, panning up to the roof, this truck actually has the twin panel moonroof, which I, I gotta say, I have it in my F-150. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful, it looks so, so nice, it's massive. The front one moves, the back one stays stationary there. Now you do have your sunshade down there at the back that you can shade the interior as well too. Full leather interior, like you know, with the Lariat. Now your the back of the truck or your, your second row seats is gonna be the exact same as the XLT. Now, like I said, the back or second row of the Lariat is pretty much the exact same. You're gonna have your B&O sound right in the back here. You've got some nice convenient cup holders. You're still gonna have that wood style um, kind of interior garnish there too. But the biggest thing when you get into the layer, you are gonna have a heated second row. So as you can see on the back of the center console, you're gonna have your cup holders with your heated seats. And again, just like the XLT, this is gonna be your dual or your, your split. So this is gonna split up here and you're gonna have your jumper seat in the back there as well too. Under seat storage, that's all still the same. That carries through all the F-150s. Thank you all for tuning in to my second video of the 2021 F-150 series this has been the lariat the 502a chrome package truck hopefully you enjoyed it if i miss anything please let me know comment down below as always like comment subscribe thank you for coming out we'll see you on the next one